gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. Thank you, thank you. Coming at you with another year-end beer. Dark beers, love them, love them. Anybody out there who says that they don't, because I was there with you, this makes me wonder, did you try one, not like it, so you stopped drinking them, so you stayed at light, or you stayed at regular beers? That was definitely me. Well, you just gotta find the one that you do like. So today, we are gonna be tasting Pretoria Fields. Walker Station Stout. Pretty simple looking can here. Let's keep up with the jack o' lantern motif. This is a velvety smooth stout with roasty notes of dark chocolate, toffee, and caramel. Man, doesn't that sound divine? Well, let me, uh, See what else this can has to say. This is 6.5% uh, alcohol, and it says, "In our quest to create the highest quality craft beer, we are proud to grow barley, wheat, hops, and various fruit organically on our farmlands. Experience a little bit of the South Georgia in every can." I don't know why that sounded familiar. Did I already review this beer? I'm gonna have to, uh, let me pop out and go check my records and I'll be right back. Whew, rough re-entry there. Okay, so I went and checked my records and I didn't have a review that I had done on this. So this is what I think happened. There was a time I filmed a couple of reviews and I did not have the uh, the microphone on. So they were unusable. I was, would not have been able to dub everything that I had said about it from memory. So this is going to be the one that is going to get published. Okay, so this is Pretoria Fields Collective Walker Station Stout. Brewers Farmers, yeah, so this, this says, um, this seriously satisfying dark ale is brewed for all to enjoy. A complex blend of malts and oats give this beer a silky finish, perfect for sipping in any environment, day or night. That's exactly what I need. Nice hard pour. Look at me spilling all over the place. problems here in the bar. Mm, look at that. Nice and dark. Stouts and Porters, I'm telling you, they are fantastic end of the year beer styles because, oh, that flavor, they're more substantiative. Yeah. I wonder if my English teachers are proud of me. Are they watching? Substantiative. Because these beers here are not meant to be gulped down and, you know, you drink six of them, you know, you know, you double fisted drinking them like that. No, that's not what these are for. These are just hang out by the bonfire, sip them. Man, that flavor is fantastic. Enjoy them. Six and a half percent alcohol. Mm. Let's get this thing in us here. Cheers. Mm. 
Rich chocolate flavor. Chocolate is the prominent flavor, and I'm absolutely fine with that. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's got a little bit of a, a char flavor, which... I'm one of those weirdos out there who, um, when I eat, eat a steak, I like it to be well done. Don't like it slightly pink, don't like it blood red. If I cut into it and the plate gets that pink juice on it, you know, I don't like that. Don't like that flavor at all. I like a steak that's cooked well done, but not quickly to where it's, you know, a charcoal briquette. But if you cook it, cook it slowly over low heat, you know, or on the on the flame, get it away from the flame, that's where it, it cooks through and through without drying out. But then, what I like is, you know, squirt some lighter fluid on there and get that flame roaring, and then let those flames actually lick the meat and put a little char on the outside of it. That's a perfect steak for me. And I know you're thinking, oh wait, if that's the way this guy likes his steak, his taste buds are runt, so his beer review's got to be bad. Like, if he says a beer is good, is it really bad? If he says it's bad, is it good? Well, all reviews are is a person's opinion anyway. So, last night at the Halloween party, a uh, lady brought over some, uh, some bat wings. Chicken wings, you know, but they're just... Um, I don't know how you turn them black. They're not black because they're burnt. They're black because, I don't know what, they use food coloring or whatever to make them black. But, she had a mild batch and a spicy batch. So I went in there and I grabbed mild because I don't, I don't like spicy. And uh, I come out, I took a bite and I was like, ooh, I think she mismarked these because the mild was spicy. So I went and I talked to her. I said, hey, I just tried uh, your mild wings and they were spicy. She's like, no, I didn't mix them up. I was scared to go try the spicy ones to actually see if she'd mix them up. That's how low my, my tolerance is for spicy things. That was mild to her and the other ones were spicy to her. But anybody who likes spicy food will taste something and if they say it's not spicy and then I try it I find it is spicy because I don't I don't put hot sauce on anything so it depends on who you're talking to I like I like to think that my taste buds because I, I, I normally I don't put things on my food so when I eat my food, it tastes exactly like what it is. Like my chicken tastes like chicken. You know, my uh, taco tastes like taco. Um, I don't put hot sauce on it. Um, my wife puts hot sauce on everything. So I'd always tell her that, she tells me I like my food bland. I tell her, well, you like all your food to taste the same because it doesn't matter what you're eating, it all tastes like hot sauce. Uh, this is a delicious beer. It's not bitter. It's not bitter. Once again, this is a chocolate beer that has an unsweet chocolate flavor. Now, when I say unsweet chocolate flavor, I'm not talking baking chocolate. That's that would be totally bitter and nasty. This is just. I'm sure a lot of you out there have tried the. I don't know. I don't know the proper word for that chocolate. It's it's expensive. It's more expensive than if you went and bought a Snickers or a Milky Way or something like that. But those chocolate bars that have the percentage of is it called cacao or whatever the 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 cocoa the the chocolate 
in it. Like I say, you know, 75%, 85%, you're getting up there where there's so much concentration of actual chocolate in it, it's not, it's not um, brought down with, you know, sugar and, and other things to give it a sweetness. So when you get up in those higher percentages, it gets a little bitter. But this is not bitter. Once again, this is like right up to where it's, the chocolate stops being sweet and before it starts getting bitter. That's exactly the chocolate that this tastes like. Yeah. So when you hear, like in these, in these dark beers that have chocolate and, and caramel and stuff, really, um, if you think you're, it's going to taste like you're drinking a candy bar, um, I've never, I've never tasted one that, that was the impression that I got. Um, these flavors typically come from when they're roasting the malts. There's a lot of different types of malt, just like there's a lot of different types of hops. Um, and they, they each have kind of a different flavor. Um, this, you know, it's not sweet, it's chocolatey, it's delicious. And I'm serious. This would go perfect. Light up your fire pit. Sit outside. It's a, it's a cool fall evening. Drink you this. Man, it'd be good times. We had a really bad rainstorm here last night, so the ground's all soggy wet out there. I had to go up to the convenience store and get some, some ice for the party last night, and I mean... I got drenched. I mean, the, you know, the, uh, what is that, the, the, the sewer, like the, those holes by the curb where the rainwater goes in, they were, water was going in at full force, and there was still a lot of water standing in the road. I mean, it was a, it was like a flash flood event went on yesterday. But, it was okay, it didn't last very long. Kind of like this beer. This beer isn't going to last very long because, mmm, so good. I just, man, it's that time of the year. Pumpkins. Kids are going to be out trick-or-treating next week, which is when this is coming out. Great time of year. Man, 2020 is almost over. I'm pretty sure I can, I'm not speaking just for myself when I say everybody's, we're ready for this year to be over. This is not a year that, uh, look, hope history doesn't repeat itself. Time to get back to normal. So thanks for stopping by. Hit this video on an up note. This is going to get a thumbs up. Victoria, this is a uh, this is a local Georgia beer. It says experience a little bit of South Georgia in every can. So, not sure if you can get this where you're at, uh, but if you can, and you like chocolate, give this a go. Victoria Walker's Station Stout. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like and subscribe. Share this video if you want. Like it, don't like it, it doesn't matter. If you don't like it, at least please tell me why you don't like it. Can't make everybody happy, but I'll see what I can do. So, come back again next time, and we'll see what else we got in store. Till then. Yes, sir.